Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason, and we're gonna go over the multi tools and how you can get kick ass multi tools and how to use them and how to set them up. So, first things first, you need to get a great multi tool. So, this is what I have. Let me look a dazzling atmosphere analyzer, and there's my, my stats right here. So, this is not the best for sure, but it's one of the best. Depends on what you like. I have my scanner 100%, mining 27, damage 24. If you want to get this tool, I'll link to the planet or the, the uh, system it's on. I'll link to the portal in the planet. So portal in. And if you don't know how to portal, I have videos that explain all that down below and in the cards up top. How to get portals, how to get glyphs, all that stuff. And before we go any further, I just want to shout out to uh, Vi. He's the one who reminded me. I said I was going to do this video probably a week or two ago when I did my invincibility exosuit uh, video. And I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a multi-tool. I never got around to it because between the patches and doing everything else, I totally blanked on it. So, Vi, if you're out there, this is the video for you, man. Anyway, if you want to get it, and just to show you that I actually have it here, look at it. It's right here. Boom. The Dazzling Atmosphere Analyze is literally the same thing. You can keep getting it over and over. It's an S tool. You can compare it. I'm not going to buy it because my tool's already set up, but I can compare it for you guys. It's literally the same thing I have. So, if you want to get it, definitely there's a link. I'll even put the address here up on the screen. That way you guys can just screenshot it or whatever you need to do. Anyway, so once you have the the multi-tool you want, once you have that S-Class multi-tool that has all the stats you, you, you're going to want, the way you set it up is, the way I've always done it is, it's just like your exosuit. Put the like-minded stuff together, so all of your scanner stuff all together. Boom, boom, boom. That way they get a boost. And you can always go over here. You can talk to this, this awesome lady right here. And she will give you upgrades, so you can purchase upgrade modules. And if you're on this planet getting that multi-tool, you can also come in here and get the bolt, bolt caster module, the scanner module, both asses, and she sells a pulse splitter and a scatter blaster. This is not guaranteed. Sometimes it changes up, but nine times out of ten if I come here, she has all four of those every single time. So the only thing she's really missing is a mining module. Uh, mining, I mean, you can get the C. I wouldn't recommend it. Just, I mean, get it for now, but... If you don't have any, but you really, you ideally want to have all S-Class modules. So, after you've bought a few of them, and believe me, this is going to be the pain in the butt, because there's no duping on modules as far as I know. If you know how to dupe modules, tell me in the comments below. That way I can start doing this, because if you look at all this stuff, look at this. I have my, my scanning module. I have an S-Class, which gives me plus 66 or 6,000 percent fauna analysis reward. So every time I scan an animal, I get plus 6,000 credits. And you can and, it, and it's multiplied. Same thing. Flora, plus 9,000. The problem with it is when you buy that class upgrade, it's randomized. And so sometimes you'll get 6,000 and 9,000. Sometimes you'll get 7 and 7. So it, it all it's all randomized. So you have to try to Try to get the best stats you can, so every time I stop at a space station, I go and I grab them, because I can just get them and delete my old, my lowest one and just put another one in there, and hopefully it'll be better. So, you always want to keep buying those as much as you can whenever you can, but you want to keep them all together like this. You want them bunched up. So I always try to keep everything together like that, and then my mining boom, boom, and my advanced beam, you need them touching. As long as one side is touching... You're good to go. They get a bonus. They get a little bit of a bump. I only have one mining beam upgrade because she doesn't sell any, and I have to go find some more. Then if you look over here, my bolt caster, I have that, and I have three S's right there. The problem with that is, if you see the stats on here, damage plus 4%, ricochet module enabled. I hate, I hate, I hate that. Ricochet, ricochet module will bounce off of anything that's metal. And if you're trying to kill a sentinel that's made out of metal, guess what? It bounces. Oh, it is the worst thing in the world. You do not. So that's why you want to re-roll this. 
I've been buying them and placing them in here just to try to get rid of it. I have three of them, and all three of them have the ricochet module. As soon as you have one, it starts ricocheting. So, it is a pain. If you guys have a way to figure out if I can get better ones that don't have a freaking ricochet module, please let me know. Other than buying a whole new one, deleting one, and re-putting another one on there. Basically renewing them every time I can. I hate it. But you want it all bunched together. I love the bolt caster, but I especially love the pulse splitter. This thing is amazing. This thing is basically like a, a, a rapid fire gel shooting gun. But I mean, you also, you can have three upgrades, S-Class upgrades. And then, if you have a blueprint for a thing like that, like here, like, if you have a blueprint, you can make one of those and it does not overload your technology. Like, if I put four S-Class modules in here, it'll overload and nothing will work. So the maximum you can have is three right here. But then, if you have any kind of blueprints you can make on your own, they don't count towards that, but they give you an increase anyway. Like, I got a plus 20 on my eclipse size. That is amazing, and it buffs in with all the other stuff as long as it's touching. So you get a bonus with it if you do that. So definitely. The other thing is, pulse um, pulse splitter. They have a ricochet module as well. What the hell is that? So I've already gotten one to where I don't have a ricochet module on it. So I keep buying them, and I'll delete the one that has a ricochet module, and I'll put another one in there. And hopefully, not fingers crossed, don't get a ricochet module. So let's go through that. I want to show you guys because I already bought them. Pulse splitter. Okay, I have one. It, it it's a random thing. So I don't know what I'm going to get. I know I'm going to get these general, these uh, stats right here. There's a good one to get rid of. Ricochet module. Let's get rid of that one. So delete it. It'll give you pieces. But we don't really care about the pieces. We're going to take the pulse splitter. Okay. Boom. And let's plop it down. Let's see what we got. Ricochet module. Damn it. All right. Fuck. Oh, I hate it so much. That's all right, though. I, that was another chance to not get a ricochet module. What I'm trying to do is not get ricochets because, good lord, it sucks. So let's try it with the other one. The scanner module. Now let's do bolt caster. So come over here. <clears throat> Which one has a ricochet? I think all of them do. Ricochet enabled. I'm going to get rid of that. Pull that off. Does it have a ricochet? Please tell me no. Damn, it does have a ricochet. Oh my god, it's so insanely difficult. Alright, so then I have a scanner one. So let's get the lowest uh, bonus scanner. 7,000, 7,000, 75, and... Okay, so it looks like this. it's this one. 75 and 66. 76 and 7,000. Yeah, 75 and 66. Boom. Alright, so now let's pull the other scanner module. Pop it down. Let's see what we got. 68 and 71. Eh, it's about the same. That's okay, though. I'm just trying to maximize my... My modules. Maximize as much as you can. Because, I mean, the S... Just because you buy it... And I don't know if it depends on where you buy it... Or what vendor you buy it from. Like, if it... If it changes depending on if it's a Gek or a Viking or something. I don't know. But, that is basically how you do that, you guys. Hopefully you guys like this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of tip videos coming up, and I also have a ton of tip videos already on the channel, so check them out, and I will see you guys next time.